Oh, bro, I've been meaning to ask you. Do you think it would break the dwarves by fi Bye! But be quick. Domitus yes. could be back any second. I'm Sephira. I'm from Markarth, from a part called the Warrens. If you've never gone there, don't. Just don't. About a year ago, I met a guy there. Said he was there for business. Nobody has any business being in the Warrens. But he had coin, and when he saw me, I saw a way out. Long story short, I followed him here. The more I think about it, though, I would have been better off in the Warrens with the beggars and skeevers. Guess you haven't met him, huh? Take my advice. Stay as far away from him as you can. If only... Look, whoever dreamt up the Dwarves' Law didn't think it through. Maybe it was meant to protect people, but what it really does is make everybody too afraid to stand up for themselves or challenge people in power, and Domitus knows that. He's next in line as Jarl of this place, so he gets his way by threatening to punish anyone who doesn't do what he wants. He's never physically hit anyone here, but the point is, he doesn't have to. I've seen him make grown men cry. Nords, they don't cry easily. I cry most days. I think about leaving him, but where would I go? He says he'd make sure I wound up living in poverty again, like poor old Dooley. No, interfering will only make things worse. The only way you can help me is to find a way out of this city, or do something about the Dwarves' Law. I don't know if there's a way out or not, but there are places beneath this city nobody has ever explored. If I were you, I'd start with the tunnels. Well, I suppose that's all I can ask for. Funny, I was gonna ask you the same question. Alright, but we never had this chat, okay? thing I need is another Brandis to soak up all my potions. Well, you never know, do you? Every new person who arrives in this place could be a welcome addition. Or the thing that destroys us all. But let's hope for the best, shall we? Wow. There I was thinking I was a pessimist. I trust you're on your way to speak with the Jarl. If I did, I'd be up there, fighting the good fight for the Legion. I trust you're on your way to speak. Beyond. a face I don't recognize. It's always a... He is a key to the last vacant chair. I sent you here. Well, it's... This is my hat. This... But that's odd. My letter makes... So the dwarves' lore is real, after all. You? But... Why? What did you do? I see. Well, it seems you failed. But you've been given a second chance, and I trust you won't make the same mistake again. But you must persist. I need you to do a favor for me. No! What do you mean, no? Don't you realize you're in just as much danger as the rest of us? Look, don't think you're getting out of here alive without my help. I expect you'll come around to my way of thinking once you realize that. Now get out of my citadel, and come back once you're willing to see sense. Now, 
Where? Ah, yes, that's right. Well, have you come to your senses now? Thank you. Now, you mustn't tell anybody where you're from, or if it help. Goodbye for now, and good luck. I don't need to tell you what will happen if you fail. Hello again, my friend. Any word about my eyes? <laughs> Got my eye on ya. <laughs> story. Well, I'm from Mark Arth originally. Started working at Kolskiga Mines as a lad. And after a while, the Silverbloods made me foreman. I was doing pretty well for myself. Until somebody decided to knock me down the shaft into this place. I have. I had. A wife and son. Still up there, I suppose. Though, they probably think I'm long gone. But, chin up, right? Meanwhile, I'm stuck down here, supervising workers to earn me keep, waiting for the day that I can get out of here and back to my life in Markarth. Well, I'd be lying if I said they're happy, but I'd also be lying if I said I cared. They're decent people and all, but they seem to have an hard time grasping that somebody around here's got to work the farms, or we all starve. Gulver's the worst of the lot. Seems like a decent man at first, but he's got a temper on him. Once he told me you killed a man, before he came here. He'll tell you, if you ask him. Of course, down here with the dwarves law, a bad temper could land us all in a lot of trouble. I'd keep an eye on that one, if I were you. I wish. Seems like dwarves designed this place to keep folk in. But the only thing that keeps me sane is thinking there has to be a way out. If there's ever anything my husband Tabik and I can do to help you, just ask. We can talk, but be quick. Dominus could be back any second. What do you want? Bye. 
What do you want? 